So Secure actually reached out to me, wondering if I would be interested in reviewing some more of their products. Um, what we have right here is their G1 ESC. This is a 20 by 20 70 m Yes, I actually did make a video on this before. We actually ran this thing on ADES. The only difference is that this board actually has AM32. I made it specific when I was communicating with them that I would like to try out some of their AM32 boards. As many of you probably already know, the current state of a BL Heli 32 is no longer going to be supported. So AM32 is looking to be the future and it's probably not going to go anywhere since it's open source. But uh, yeah, Secure is not told me to say anything in particular. They're going to be seeing this video at the same time you are. Um, I'm pretty much free to say whatever I feel. I am actually very impressed with the quality. I'm not going to lie. The only thing I don't like are like these smaller solder pads, especially because from what I remember, they include a 12 gauge wire. Yeah. So, and the capacitor is kind of small, just like the last video. Those are the two things I dislike about this, but everything else really does seem to be promising. I mean, this is a 20 by 20 ESC with that 70 operated full size FETs, some pretty thick copper. So I do have high hopes for the quality of this brand. It's just that they're new and kind of underrated at this point. But um, maybe I can shine some light on it. I'll have uh, links in the description in case you're interested, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this in a build and probably do like a little time lapse. <laughs> So, AM32. So, this is like my third pack with it. And it feels the exact same as any BL Heli ESC, honestly. Nothing special. Just your uh, typical 5 inch feel. But it's nice that it's not worse. It's literally just the exact same. But yeah, I think I'll cut it there. You guys get the uh, ordeal. So this drone right here, this is what you guys see in like 90% of my YouTube videos. Um, I put lots and lots of hours and time into perfecting this build and whatnot. Not trying to brag about it, but I'm just saying that I know how my quads fly. And this guy feels pretty much identical to this, even though this has AM32. This has BL Heli 32. I'm going to unplug this guy real quick because it is like 100 degrees out in case you can't tell from all this damn sweat. But I am glad to see that it's not worse in any way. So uh, yeah, that's all I got. And... Uh, uh, that shall conclude this video. Peace, guys.